Hello everyone, welcome to Skyrie.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is diseases of the pleura. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what pleura is, what pleura is made up of, what epithelium is used in pleura, what accompanies that epithelium to make up the pleura, what are the types of pleura, visceral uh, pleura and parietal pleura, we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about the space between them, we're going to talk about the fluid between them which is present normally and then we're going to talk about what happens if this physiology of the pleura is disrupted in any way. For that, first of all, we'll talk about pneumothorax. We'll talk about pneumothorax in a way that what does pneumothorax mean? What does air in thorax actually means? We're going to talk about what are the types of pneumothorax. We're going to talk about what is a medical emergency uh, in the subtypes of pneumothorax. How do we deal with it? We're going to talk about what radiological findings that we are going to look for, which will indicate that the patient is suffering from tension pneumothorax rather than open or close. Afterwards, we're going to talk about pleural effusion. We're going to talk about what the word pleural effusion actually means, what kind of uh, fluids are accumulated inside the pleural space, whether it's water, what is that called, whether it's pus, whether it's blood, whether it's some kind of fatty fluid. When all of these things combine together, how do they affect the lungs? How do they affect the effectivity of lungs? What are the clinical symptoms of a patient who's suffering from pleural effusion? We're going to talk about what are the causes of pleural effusion, top 10 causes of pleural effusion, top 10 pathologies of pleural effusion, which will lead to pleural effusion. Then we're going to talk about transudative pleural effusion and exudative pleural effusion. When do we call the pleural effusion transudative and when do we call the pleural effusion exudative? We're going to talk about that. Afterwards, we're going to discuss some radiological uh, findings of hemothorax and calothorax and uh, even what happens when the pus is accumulated inside of it. We're going to talk about different kind of uh, radiological findings and different substances when accumulated in pleural spaces. Then we're going to talk about pruritus, what pruritus is and how does the patient of the pruritus come to us and what is the presenting complaint of the patient. Next on we have tumors of pleura. We're going to discuss what happens if the pleura is uh, somehow affected by the tumors, somehow affected by the maybe even malignancy of other tissue and it gets to pleura what happens then. We're going to talk about localized fibrous tumors that why are they so benign? What are the clinical symptoms with which the patient will present to us? Then next time we're going to talk about malignant mesotheliomas. Why these are called mesotheliomas? Because it's made up of mesothelium actually. Pleura is made up of mesothelium. We're going to talk about malignant mesothelium. What are the clinical features that a patient will be presenting with? To watch this lecture completely and to watch other variety of lectures, please subscribe to skyrie.com. Thank you for watching.